So these are a few ways that you can avoid losing your eBay listings for them disappearing or getting lost. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to address a few issues that quite a few people have been having as of late. I've gotten quite a few messages about lost eBay listings. So I wanted to address and talk about ways to avoid losing them because they seem to happen during certain activities that are easily avoidable. Now the first one is when you're ending and selling similar or if you don't do end and sell similar, maybe you do end and relist. What I find is a lot of folks end listings and then they sometimes think they relisted them and delete them before they were relisted. Now, a big issue with that and why a lot of people seem to have that issue is they're not taking into account when they're checking your totals, the total amount of listings before you start ending and selling similar and those after you end and sell similar. The biggest problem with that is you may not be accounting for auto relist. Now, you can easily check how many listings are going to relist that day. It states that on the main page of the hub, your landing page with all the customizable widgets you can add to it that shows all of your totals on it. There is a line on that page that tells you how many will be relisted that day or how many will be ending, I guess it says. So that number tells you how many are still pending to end. I usually do not do end and sell similar when I know other ones from eBay will be relisted automatically. These days, I try to do end and sell similar on the same day, so I'm bunching them all up so there are no listings that will be auto-relisted those days by eBay. And what happens when you don't take into account those that are auto-relisted by eBay, you may look at the total number of listings. Let's say it says 5,000. And you go ahead and you end them, you get occupied with something, you come back and you look at your totals, and now they're well over 5,000 because eBay auto-relisted some listings. And you wrongly assume that they already were sold as similar or relisted, and you delete them. Only later to find out that you didn't do it, and it was just basically eBay auto-relisting listings. Now, I bring this up because the other week, eBay took some time, a very long delay in getting listings auto-relisted. We had several thousand that were gone from the platform for about five or six hours total. Some were floating back in there between this time frame. But they were gone for a very long time, almost to the extent where we were a little worried that they may not show back up. Now, it does state in the user agreement that it could take 24 hours from the time you first list it. That would, again, correspond with when it's auto-relisted, it could take 24 hours for those items to show up. Obviously, there's volume and things like that on eBay. There may be a ton going on. It tries its best to get the listings auto-relisted. That's fine, completely understandable. It doesn't really necessarily bother me. Obviously, I'd like to have all of my listings visible every minute they can, but if you're going to end and sell similar or end and relist, you're going to have to deal with some of your listings may not be visible for a few hours. It rarely happens. It's usually instantaneously, so when they end, auto end, and then auto relist, it's usually within a few seconds at best. Does them in stages, one every second, one every half second, or whatever the case may be. Always wait till those are done before you go and do end and sell similar on your own. Because inevitably, many people have got caught by that issue specifically and assumed wrong and deleted listings. If they're totally deleted on your end, you cannot get them back through eBay. Now, we use a couple third-party apps that back up all of our listings, so I don't have to worry if that would happen. But if you're not one of those who has a third-party app or doesn't you know, have a uh, direct sync that cross-lists your items where you don't have to take anything down, it zeroes them out and stuff, and again, then if you delete your listings, they're gone 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 you can't go back and recreate them you may still be able to get the photos or something but it's going to be a, a horrendously long process and you'll end up having to probably type them in again so avoid that issue simply by just not doing end and sell similar when you know you've got auto relist going to happen now you can actually see the time they're going to auto relist so you can do it before that or whatever the case may be just go ahead and look at your oldest listings sort them from your listings tab in the hub by oldest first. And you'll be able to tell when the next one is set 
to auto relist. It'll automatically end by eBay and eBay automatically restarts it again for another 30 days. That's the gist on that process. Nothing wrong with it. It's been like that for years. It's not an issue, but just keep that in mind. In those cases, it always seems to be the person who was doing it accidentally deleted it. I've had a lot of people reach out to me, you know, after I've talked about doing this, and that seems to be the biggest issue. I always check my totals before I end anything. How many active listings do I have? So if I end 200, at the end of the day, I have to have set amount of listings again once I sell similar. Hopefully that makes sense. Now we use zero quantity. If you use the zero quantity option on eBay, meaning that if your item goes to zero, it doesn't end the listing. It keeps it still there for so many cycles. You may have some that have sold. So when you go to look at your unsold listings, you may actually have only 197, even though you ended 200. The other three will show up when you sort those by sold listings. You'll see that maybe you sold three of them. Now that's only if you use the zero quantity option. That's how we clear out all the listings that we no longer need. So if I don't have more of them, there wasn't an issue or anything else like that, I just then delete the listings. I don't worry about it, though, until it comes to that point. I don't go back and delete zeros or anything, because in many cases, we do have multiples of many of the vintage items that we do sell. Now, there is another way that I've seen a listing disappear in the past. We were able to bring it back. When you end and sell similar, when you're going to do the sell similar, let's say you have 200 listings sitting there that you're going to sell similar. You click sell similar, you mark them all down. One errors out at the last second, so what shows up as being processed is only 199. One went haywire during that process. It's a glitch, it happens occasionally. To fix that, we simply go back in and highlight all of them and hit relist on all of them. Now, obviously, eBay doesn't allow duplicate listings. So the 199 listings that already processed will come in with an error. The one single one that wasn't processed should process on this time. So you'll basically have that one process and then you'll cancel out on the other 199 and then boom, you've got all 200 of your listings back up and active. It's the only way that I know that you can check which one it is without going listing by listing, all 200 of them to figure it out. Again, eBay has a feature in there that will stop duplicate listings and it'll give you an error notice when you go and sell similar. Try it with one if you, you question that and you'll see that it'll tell you you've already have that listing listed and you're not allowed to duplicate it exactly. So that's the key on that one. That's the easiest way to figure out when it glitches out in one single listing. It's rare, but I have personally seen it several times happen where we've had to use that option and it did fix it. It did find the one single listing that was gone. Maybe it's two, maybe it's three, whatever the case may be. Now, one other aspect on listings that I've had other people reach out to me quite a bit lately are drafts. Now, I personally never recommend drafts and I don't use them anymore at all. Haven't in several years because my drafts disappeared on multiple occasions, lots of them, glitch at eBay, whatever the case may be. So I don't do drafts. I don't recommend drafts. If you want to take a few days off, in my personal opinion, taking two days off a week is not going to kill your sales. Not at all. You don't have to necessarily list every single day of the week, a whole bunch of items. From what we see, you just have to list at least five days and enough on those five days to have a bunch of new things going on. It could take, again, 24 hours for your listings to actually show up. So even though you listed them one day, they all may not filter to everybody till the very next day. They've had many people tell them you should build up drafts and things like that. So that's what they were doing. And then they did that and then they were gone. So I don't trust eBay to hold on to things that aren't active listings. Again, our drafts have disappeared at least three times in the past. I've contacted eBay. There was nothing they could do. So I don't do them anymore at all. And I personally don't recommend them to anybody just list on the days that you're able to list as many days as you're as possible if you take a few off it's not going to kill you you know ebay can't expect you to do every single day of the week every single day of the year otherwise they're going to penalize you i don't see as that's the case you just have to increase your overall amount of listings enough in a specific week to garner that that uh, a logarithm to show that you're doing new listings to bring in new people to view your items. That's my my take on it. 
you know, a half percent to one percent, depending again on how many listings you have. So the more listings you have, the more you should get up every week to keep building upon that again to show some action on your account. And that's the basic gist on it. But those are the issues that you have to worry about. That's the way to stop them. That way you shouldn't be losing any listings or drafts for those listings. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. for the sour stripe. Help! 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 A quick change and beech nut stripes again. New beech nut sour stripes gum. Five fruit flavors in every pack. Ugh. New sour stripes gum hangs on to flavor. How does that stripe you? Sour! Who was that stripe man anyway? I don't know, but he left this. Buy beech nut! Buy gum!